Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, among the many things of a small business owner that we do is we maintain our vehicles. So today's Monday, Monday maintenance day. We're going to go ahead and change the oil in all the trucks, but we're going to start with this one, 2016 Chevy Express 2500. Uh, this truck has got a 4.8 liter engine. Was kind of afraid of that when I bought it, but it's working great, great gas mileage. It pulls our trailer, no problem with all the gravel. It is a great running truck, um, but definitely change the oil, something that you should do on a regular basis. You know, the other van that we put on this, out there on service, it's a 2008 Chevy Express. It's got 565,000 miles, so it's got a lot of miles on it. Change that oil, run forever. Okay, so we're gonna climb under the van. We're gonna use a 15 millimeter socket, get it on there, and you, if you need it, you need the extension and just get it started. There it goes. Breaks free instantly. Piece of cake. Next, we'll go ahead and put our oil pan underneath. And remember that this could be hot oil, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get it started here. If you've just run that van, make sure you let it cool off a little bit. Give it a place to drop to. There we go. And once we start this out, there it goes. We'll just let that drain. We'll go on the other side of the van and we'll take off that oil filter. That's always the fun part here. Okay, here's the big controversy. Should you fill your filter with oil before you put it onto the truck? So my answer is no, because your truck calls for a, a specific amount of oil. You put this extra oil into your filter, you're adding more oil, you're overfilling that oil pan. It's too much for the capacity. That's my suggestion, do not do this. Okay, so you can see how that oil filter sits there. Get your oil filter wrench up on there. Remember, this uses tension to tighten it up. So just get it tight and break it free just break it free a little bit and that oil is going to start to come out of there because <laughs> of how this is designed then we can just spin it with our hand just let it all come out i'm just going to let it drop down into the pan I'm just going to let it drop right down into the oil pan here while we're catching it. But it does make a mess. And yeah, you could wear gloves, of course. Yeah, I don't like how Chevy designed this, but I understand why. Because this allows all that debris to drop down into your filter. But what a mess when you go to change it, right? Yep, I'm using a Fram. <laughs> I've used Fram for long time and I have had never never had any problems go ahead and get some old oil whoops get some old oil and you put it around that o-ring all the way around and that will keep it nice and lubricated um, so that when you put it back easy to take off okay just push it right back up onto that nut screw it in there hand tight And we're all set. We're ready to put oil in. Okay, we've got our oil filter put back in. Let's go over on the other side and put the plug back in to the oil pan and we're ready to fill this up. Okay, let's put that oil nut back into the oil pan. Get it on there good and hand tight. Now we'll take the wrench and tighten that up. Then taking your number 15 millimeter socket getting it on there and just snug it up a little bit you don't want to over tighten it but just snug it up next we'll clean off a little bit of oil that dripped down and we're all set to go so don't forget to recycle your oil you simply pour that into a container take it to a recycling place and get rid of it properly don't just dump it okay this is a 4.8 liter it still takes six quarts so we're going to start off with this five quart container just pour it slowly i've got a real small funnel so it has to go very slow 
pour it all in there and we'll start it up and see how it sounds you know I like to use Valvoline I've used Valvoline since I learned to drive and I've never had any problems with oil breaking down anything like that you noticed I used 5w30 that's what this truck calls for and I'm using a, a high mileage here just one quart a lot of people say, oh, you should keep this, this and that the same. And you know what? I've been doing it for 30 plus years. I don't have any problems with it at all. So we'll let that drain down, put the cap on, and we're ready to start this up. Okay. Okay, remember, this truck called for 5W30. We're all set. Put it back on. Tighten it up. Let's start it up and see if it made any difference. So, can you hear a difference? I do. Definitely quieted down that lifter. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Grange, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. You can see water's collecting right here and all right there. It goes all the way across, and then there's a a low point right here you can see that yep so does, right. is that where the is that where the channel drain discharges to right there it, it discharges about right where i'm pointing my finger okay it discharges there, into that drain into is that there drain. A, is there a flow coming from the channel drain right now 